She sacked the chair of the post office on Saturday afternoon as the full horror of the Horizon scandal continues to unfold. But what was the final straw? Given everything that has happened this year, I think we need someone new who can deal with these issues uh, in a different way. The wrong thing to do would be to sit back uh, with that bureaucratic indifference that we often see across systems and say, oh, well, well, he's only been there for a year. Let's hope, let's hope things just get better. I see it as my job to intervene if I don't believe that the system is working. And that is exactly what I have done. Henry Staunton was only appointed a year ago after a long career in business. Disagreements over how the post office is governed, not related to Horizon, have dogged his time in office. This decision follows various tensions with ministers, including over bonuses paid to post office executives cooperating with the Horizon inquiry. The post office is government owned and the business secretary didn't rule out other senior figures being shown the door. It's cold comfort for former branch manager Damien, who was jailed after being wrongfully convicted of theft and still hasn't been compensated. It's not just the fault of him, it's, it's systema systematic failures they've, they've got there. And it's not just down to the one man, it's the way they have been run, the way they're continually run. It has severely diminished my ability to get a decent job. There's no firm deadline for compensation being paid. What's really important now is the government doesn't leave the post office rudderless and nor can ministers just dodge the responsibility for actually getting the money out of the door. A new leader will now handle the fallout from this huge miscarriage of justice and the hundreds of victims who already feel they've waited too long. Tamara Cohen, Sky News.